It's a celebration of cultures today in Aurora, the fifth annual Global Fest, giving people a chance to check out all the food, music, and art the world has to offer. Thanks for being with us this evening. I'm Kelly Worthman. A true melting pot, Aurora is the most diverse city in Colorado, a mix everyone can enjoy. Andrea Flores is live in Aurora with a look at all the fun. Having fun out there, Andrea? <laughs> We're having so much fun, Kelly. Bonjour, hola, namaste, ciao. Those are just some of the ways to say hello around the world. And while Global Fest celebrates each country's uniqueness, the main message many walked away with today, we are more alike than we may think. Coloradans curious about other cultures didn't need a passport to travel across the globe. I'm Israeli, born and raised for 27 years, and I moved to America 15 years ago. People from more than 100 countries came together to show off their traditions at Global Festival in the heart of Aurora. It's considered the most diverse city in Colorado and one of the most 10 diverse cities in the nation. Peruvian Rosana Jerimata has called Aurora home for 30 years. We have to pr be proud of our culture and also we need to show our children uh, we also have history and we come in from Peru but and also we can be part of the community here in the United States. Romanian dancers, ethnic food and origami making were just some of the highlights for locals. We're trying this one from Kenya. It's amazing. It's called a samosa. Spicy. It was only $2. I think you would try things that maybe you wouldn't normally eat. Now I want to know if there's a Kenyan restaurant in Aurora. Olga Shakalova is originally from Russia. I moved here uh, 19 years ago for opportunities. That is still true. Yes, this country is full of opportunities. She says events like these teach her American daughter to celebrate the contributions of immigrants and refugees from around the world. This opens people to different cultures, to different languages, to different dresses. This is fantastic languages. And, I mean, you hear all this and you just maybe become more tolerant. And today's event taught us something else you may not know. Get this, one in five Aurora residents was born outside of the United States, a wonderful mix of people from around the world. Reporting live in Aurora, Andrea Flores covering Colorado First. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Andrea.